Frozen fish. Frozen fish can be a really good thing. Sometimes the freshest fish are frozen at sea, but you really need to look at the packaging and the date. Like you want something that's really nicely vacuum sealed. Uh, you don't want to see any ice crystals in the packaging and look at the date. Now, that being said, frozen fish has a little bit extra moisture. Moisture in fish equals odor. Fish and odor are not good friends. So slack thaw your fish. And what I mean by slack thaw is take it from the freezer and put it into the fridge and it's going to defrost au naturel. And then once that happens, then you want to dry the fish as well as you can. Uh, drying the fish gets rid of any excess water and, uh, and anything that has been frozen in the fish and you just want to dab it, dry it, dry it, and then you're good to go. I've been in this situation where it's like, oh God, that's frozen, we gotta go. I run it under water. It doesn't have to be necessarily ice cold, but if you get the flow of water and it's changing out, it'll, it'll ri raise the temperature of it and you'll get a quicker thaw. It's wrong to use hot water. I mean, fish is so delicate and, and, and shrimp is so delicate that you can actually start cooking it with, uh, with tap water and you want your fish to be, uh, you know, in a safe zone temperature when you're defrosting.